Magic is a huge component to the world of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Not only does magic keep many things in this world up and running, it is the main power source and essence of a lot of our characters. Yet, after recent events, does Star still have access to her magic? Let's talk about it, complete with an actual, OFFICIAL answer, today on Muni Mayhem. Welcome back to Muni Mayhem on the Roundtable. I'm Osric Fox. The second half of Star Season 3 finale, Conquer saw an intense battle between Star and Meteora in Butterfly Castle during the episode's triumphant climax. Getting our first actual look at Star's combat in her butterfly form, it was without a doubt a spectacle that had a lot of viewers blown away at the edge of their seats. Despite Star's immense power, she was on the ropes against Meteora, who's frustrated and angry, going on a rampage on Muni Castle, stealing the souls of many innocent civilians. Star argues that her and Meteora can still work things out, that they can fix things, yet Meteora retorts that Star can't fix the damage her family has done. Star acknowledges this, and in a last ditch attempt to defeat Meteora, exclaims that if she wants her power, she can have it. Channeling all her energy, all of her magic into one concentrated blast and firing it at Meteora, resulting in a huge burst of explosion. This leaves both Star and Meteora in a weakened state. Star attempts to finish off Meteora once and for all, but she is drained. Too diminished to even cast one simple spell, she couldn't even make the cut to do a simple narwhal blast. And for the remainder of this finale, not once does Star use any kind of magic. This has left a lot of speculation and confusion among fans, posing the question, can Star still use magic? Is there any left in her? Spreading the notion that Star's attack on Meteora was her truly giving up every single last ounce of magic in her body, transferring it all to Meteora, and that positive energy is what caused Meteora to revert back to a child instead of being destroyed entirely. So is Star truly magicless? Not only on top of losing her wand, will she be unable to defend herself and indulge in any spells for the rest of the series? Well, let's turn to the Tumblr of storyboarder and director of the series, Sabrina Katugno, who actually storyboarded this very scene of Star giving her energy to Meteora. A Tumblr user under the name of Crystal Blackheart asked, Without spoiling anything, because I know you can't, I wanted to ask. Did Star assume Meteor wanted her magical powers when all that Meteor wanted was for the throne to be returned to her? I watched the last two episodes of Season 3, so I know what happened. I just figured Star made the assumption Meteor wanted her magical power instead of realizing she wanted the power, aka the throne back. Sabrina answered, Hey, so I'm not the only one who wrote for this episode, but the way I saw it was that Star wasn't really handing over her magical power to Meteora. She was backed into a corner, and the only way she could think to free herself was to concentrate all the magic for butterfly form into one final self-destruct style blast. The line, you want my magic? Take it! was met with a little bit of sass. I think she still felt the full weight of what her family had taken from Meteora over the years. But in that particular moment, I think she was just making a practical decision to free herself from Meteora's grasp. As for Meteora, I personally don't think she ever thought the throne would be really returned to her. And even if it were, it wouldn't mend the centuries of damage done to her family. I think, left to her own devices, she would have just kept on destroying Muni until either someone stopped her, or there was nothing left to destroy. Or perhaps under less tense circumstances, Eclipsa could have talked her down eventually. But that's not what ended up happening in the end. So there you have it folks. Sabrina, who storyboarded on this episode, saw this and is basically saying yeah, Star did not give up her magic entirely. She just condensed all the energy from her butterfly form into a blast, hoping to free herself and damage Meteora, giving her some time. And that's exactly what ended up happening. So no, Star did not give up her actual magical essence within her. And another way to indicate this is the fact she still has her cheek marks. As we learned from the book Star Marco's Guide to Mastering Every Dimension, cheek marks are the result of a long-term exposure to magic. If Star no longer had any magic in her, her cheek marks would fade away. I do think that would have been a really interesting route for the series to take, but ultimately, that was not the idea they had in mind. Star giving up her wand was enough, and even though she's wandless, she can still dip down and use magic without actually channeling it through the wand. Who knows, maybe by the end of Season 4, she'll be just as good with wandless magic as Moon is. As for Eclipsa, she doesn't really know how to use magic without a wand, the exception being when she dipped down against Moon to protect Meteora. So in this season, I'm expecting Eclipsa to be very, very powerful. 
Whether or not she's going to be an ally or an antagonist to Star, we'll discuss at a later time. But that's all I really wanted to discuss. What do you guys think? Were you hoping Star's magical essence was gone for good? That she'd get it back at the end of season 4? Or did you think this was the case? That it was just a self-destruct, here's all my energy, take it, her trump card, and all that jazz? Let me know in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts from the teammate after thoughts, or at the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids. If you want to help us grow, join the Roundtable and become a member on Patreon. Get access to so many goodies and have your name featured at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Links in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop of all things Star. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Austin Fox, out.